Hi everybody, it's Terry, and I'm going to um, do the coaching tip thing this week. And I just wanted to talk about the beginning of the month, and it's the first quarter of the year, and how important it is for us to try to take an advantage of this time of year to get as many clients as you ha can have. And sometimes you might even have a little bit more clients than you want but what happens is that this is the peak and you'll get more and more and more and then you'll get less as the um, next winter goes on so the more you can get now the better it's going to ride you through the rest of the year and you have a lot more opportunities to find coaches too so um, work on work on uh, the this time of the year and this time of the month working a lot harder so that you're not having to push so far at the end of the month and what I encourage people to do is whatever um, whatever level you had last month, try to get to it sooner this month. Like, for example, if you were manager on the 30th, try to get to it by the 25th or ED or whatever. Try to get to it a few days earlier so it doesn't put so much pressure on you and you're moving forward. And the goal as you go is to try to get 8 to 10 new clients a month. And as you build your business, it's easier and easier to do that if you learn how to ask for referrals. It's really important that you Send, send clients your business cards right away. Tell them um, if people are noticing to make sure that they that you don't tell them Medifast or Take Shape for Life. Say that they got to get a hold of you um, or get their names and numbers so that you can get a hold of them. And if you aren't utilizing your pre-client folder, you really should. So I would spend a little bit of time and have a whole bunch of those sheets that are in there and put you can put specific names on there or you can even put categories so it forces you to think about it for example if you have a, a, a couple people that work at the same business then maybe you can focus on for example State Farm or um, you know one of the schools where you can see if you can put some flyers up there and get the word spread there um, but utilizing your your pre-client folder is really important and try to do some of that stuff as a priority um, getting in contact with people, putting them in the newsletter, um, and just working your business and trying to get people from different walks of life and different circles of um, groups so that you can spread the word in different groups. And then when you do get referrals, always op offer that option to your client, to that client to become a coach. And, you know, I, I tell people, you know, I make 50, to, I made $50 a month per client or 50 to 60 when I first started out and now I'm making hundred dollars per month coaching you and you know it's not taking me that much time and it doesn't have to and the company doesn't expect us to spend a lot of time we're your guide you don't have to be an expert and things like that so that um, you make it easy for them and I've even had where I've told people how much they would have made if they would have had that client or the few clients that they referred to me and they're like hmm and then you can say and, and is, as I coached you with your uh, weight loss, I would be doing the same thing with um, mentoring you as a as a coach also. So, um, and if you guys aren't using the structural tension charts or a goal sheet every month, it's really important at the first of the month to put what your goals are. Um, they say if you strive for about 10% growth per month, um, that that's a really good, you know, growth wave. So. Uh, increase in your clients by 10% or your frontline volume by 10% and I really encourage you all to try to get a coach this month really work hard on it ask a bunch of your clients and go out there and um, practice your skills and the more you do it the better you'll get and you'll be and you don't have to be real formal about it it can be just very totally casual I do it with dripping on them in emails making when I call them on the phone not a not a specific phone call to ask him that but it's just in the conversation I drop it every once in a while um, so and then the people that are not clients that you can actually have to do something a little bit more formal but it can just still be a, a quick phone call uh, so there's just some tips right there and I'm also going to be shooting you an email with a link of a great video that Ricky Duncan um, in Oklahoma found that is about structural tension and, and it's just a really really great video so thanks a lot take care and um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.